husband. What happened on the deed? Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? No. As I descended? I... Who lies in the second chamber? Don't know, baby. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. There's one did laugh in his sleep, and one cried murder, what? but they did wake each other. I stood and heard them, but they did say their prayers and address them again to sleep. There are two lodged together. One cried, God bless us, and amen. The other, as they had seen me with this hangman's hands, listening their fear. I could not say amen when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not say amen? I had most need of blessing, and amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. They thought I heard a voice cry, sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep. The innocent sleep. Sleep that knits up the raveled sleeve of care. The death of each day's life. Sore labour's balm, birth to hurt minds, great nature's second course, chief nourisher in life's feast. What do you mean? Still it cried, sleep no more. Glams hath murdered sleep, therefore Cordor shall sleep no more, therefore Macbeth shall sleep no more. Was it that thus cried? Why, worthy Thane, you do unbend your noble strength to think so brain sickly of things. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think on what I've done. Look once again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. Tis the eye of childhood that fears a painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms withal, for it must seem their guilt. 